Hey guys, welcome to Higurashi Chapter 2. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen since Kichi is dead. I'm unsure what's going to happen, but you know. <coughs> Sorry about that. How was your taste of life in Hinemazawa? A curse or conspiracy? I believe you fully enjoyed everything and everyone seeming suspicious. Here at last, it is no surprise attack, but a real indirect incident. Please enjoy it. The difficulty is lower than Onigakushi, but extremely vicious. There was a difficulty? All we did was read. Um, maybe in the original there were choices, I'm not sure, but maybe they cut out the choices in the HD remake and, you know, just put you straight to the real ending, I'm not sure. I will not quench your thirst, for you seek the truth and could not accept that. I will not quench your thirst, for the truth you do desire does not exist. But I still want to quench your thirst, for I am the one who you cast into the desert. This is a work of fiction, and you have some actual persons or organizations that is entirely coincidental. AD 1983, or at least some of the 50th year of the show era. Welcome to Hina Masawa. Okay. The chipping birds of the first serves as my alarm. Uh huh. Wasn't today Sunday? Was it basically my style? To, it was basically it was a basically my style to stay up late on Saturday and sleep through the morning on Sunday. Why was I working up at this distance only wholesome hour? Back to sleep. Back to sleep. Am I Kichi again? How, how is that possible? I am confused. Am I going back in time? Kichi, are you awake? We have a phone call. At that moment, this time, my mother called me from downstairs, finally registered. Phone call? It sprang out of bed abruptly and stampeded noisily down the stairs. Oh, man. He's awake, I'll put him on right now. My mother's informed the person on the other end of the line. Hello? It's me. Who might this be? Ahahaha, <laughs> morning, Kichi. You're such a sleepyhead, such a sleepyhead. Rena? Uh, oh, Rena, what's up? Calling so early in the morning. I don't think it's so early in the middle of the day, you know. It was 11 o'clock. I guess you could loosely consider that the middle of the day so it's uh hold on on a second i'll put me chan on now oh yeah you chan if i were to say in english that would be good morning while we're at it why don't you say it in chinese german and russian as well ni hao ki chan guten morgen ki chan russian dash vinden yeah how the hell should i know <laughs> well whatever this stupid conversation has woken me up. Ha <laughs> That's good to hear. So, Kichan, are you free right now? If you're good, then we got everybody. Everybody? Does she mean all the club members? That's right. I'll be thinking every day it always ends up in heat of competition, but at least I can spend my day off peacefully. You're too naive, Kichan. Yeah, yeah. The aim of our club is to find the best solution for every situation. In other words, we don't care if it's the weekend. Oh, it looks like Kichan has been feeling us in our club. So, how about it? Can you come? So, before I go on with this, um, are we back to a point where, where we obviously already met everybody, became friends with everybody, and already in the club, but are we to a point now where it's going to be like the last time where they you know they're evil and they want to kill us, or is this non-existent, or is he already know and he's just playing along, what's, I don't know, maybe we should just continue to find out. I had absolutely nothing planned that day. If I were to refuse Club President and Mia's invitation, what other fun ways to pass time would I have? It's not like I plan on doing anything. And if I said no, you'd probably just declare me the loser by default and force a penalty game on me anyways. If you understand that much, then you can't refuse, right? If you're okay with it, meet me at the usual place at 1 o'clock. We're going into town, so you bring your bike, okay? Club activities in this in town, or well, we could do them anywhere. Besides, since it was a new venue, there was no way this was going to be intense. I'm one of a pretty big rush from that narrow loss a couple of days ago. I'll say it right now, I'm not going to lose. A couple of days ago was Friday's club activities that uncovered my zine poker match. It was a fight to the death. Nobody held back. Nobody could tell who was in the lead or who was last until all points were tallied. In the end, I only, won only by one chip. Mian came in second. Alright, we could still switch between the two. <laughs> Damn it. The thing, if I hadn't squandered that one chip, Mian limited thrust, perhaps more so that than the fact that she lost the match. Mian doesn't lose. That's why Mian only whined when she let the champion stone slip through her fingers. 
That's why she was more frustrated than anybody over a lot close loss. So this she mean for Tay to be a grudge match. Bring it on. Just like last time, I'll shut you down. Make you play that penalty game. Make sure you play in a way that you won't regret it when you lose. He he he. If we wouldn't have any other way, I'll make it all the way. I'm the more better when I crush you. After that, we exchanged cheers for a bit before hanging up the phone. As I headed back upstairs, hastily get the key to my bike, I bumped into my mother as she was crying a futon down. Okay, okay, she seemed like you're in a good mood heading out. Something like that. I'm going into town to play with everybody. Take care. Watch out for traffic. Be back before dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back by then. After unlocking the chain from my bike in the garage, I revealed a bit in the resistance the slightly stiff pedal gave as I pushed on it. All right, let's go. I set my bike cutting through the refreshing morning air. Kichikan, ku un, or whatever. You're late. You're late. I uh, started to keep you waiting, huh? Where is Sotoko Mika-chan? Rather than meeting up with them here, it's a lot quicker to just meet in town. Oh, I see. If I remember correctly, Sotoko and Mika-chan sources were on the other side past the school. Oh yeah, what's up with the doing club activities in town? It can't be that everybody's going to put on masks and rub banks all day, is it? I wouldn't mind doing that. Even then, I wouldn't lose to you. You see me, Chen always tells me the routes and schedules of the armored bank cars. I wonder why, I wonder why, what? I spun around with a serious look on my face and looked at Mion. Well, it has certainly seemed possible that Mion was capable of doing that. Seriously, Mion. Rina, what are you saying? Ah, ha, ha, sorry, Mi Chen, sorry, ha, ha, ha. The two of them joked around. That bright laughter was the best match for a beautiful day like today. Hey, you two. So Toko and Mika Chen are waiting for us, aren't they? Let's stop fluttering around and get going. Around and around, feeling about like two fluttering butterflies. I honestly wish I could just keep watching them like this. But the five of us together would be absolutely more fun. That's right, well, let's go. The goal is to plunder one billion. Once we split the loot, everybody scram. Yeah. The three of us on our bikes headed over that gently sloping hill towards town. Accelerating hard, we crested the hill. The view expanding as Okinamiya Station came at the site. I occasionally come to the station here. Considering the amount of effort it takes to get here, though, it was quite a hassle. That's why I didn't know much about the area around the station, or Okinam Okinomiya itself for that matter. The street where we were headed down today was, of course, unfamiliar to me as well. Going through the railway railway crossing we had to pass the south end of the station this is the first time i've been this way around here there's lots of things like arcades and toy stores Miche knows a lot about it so there's an arcade i used to go to one pretty often my gamers blood royals within me I always went to an arcade keychain you're quite the delinquent next time we're here i'll show you where it is it's a good one there's quite a few machines it seemed like the town of okinawa Okinomiya was the man's stomping grounds. If I asked her, she could tell me lots of things about it. Eventually, we came across a store with quite a few bikes parked in front of it. Was this the arcade? No, it was a smaller shop. Looking at the window display, it seemed like your everyday toy shop. But for almost 10 kids to be filling in and out of the store, they were doing almost too well for themselves. Could it be that this was having some sort of event today? Exactly. What price is 50,000 yen? For 50,000? Oh, what the heck is that? That's the GMP of the People's, People's Republic of Kichi five times over. Two cute figures messing about the front of the store notices and wave their hands. Hello, everybody. We've been waiting for you. Good morning. Hey, we are in Rika Chan. Sotoko will show this before the cops get here. The goal is to plan on one billion. Huh, Kichi san, I know what you're talking about. Are we late? Did we keep you two waiting? We finished early today, so we've been waiting a while. I'm sorry about that. Kichi and was just taking a sweet time. Well, if it was Kichi's fault, it couldn't be helped. Saying that, we could just stretch up and begin patting me on his head. Hey, wait a minute. Are you solving anything about making me the bad guy? 
Of course, who else but Kichi Sidon could fill this important role? Oh ho ho ho, I don't like being cast like that. If you think they'll solve everything, you're surely mistaken. I was feeling slightly irritated, so I began to repeat at least Max took on the head. Smack, 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 smack. Kiki is bullying me. Wah. It's such a shame that Kiki's bullying you. Sutuk was crying. She's crying. I'm taking her home. Your big sister's here with took care of you, bad guy, okay? Wham. Rina exactly wept the tears, which were probably faked from Sutuko's face, while Rika Chen gently patted me on as I lay sprawled on the ground. Yes, this is fine. Hmm, yep. This is the way things were supposed to be solved. Although I think we should find a new punchline before you start losing teeth. Well then, upsie daisy. In any case, the greeting for today went well. Inside the toy shop, there were about ten boys around the same age as me. Apparently, they all knew me on to find out that she had arrived. They greeted her with jeers a few at a time. Which was a regular at this toy shop. So she has lots of friends. A regular at a toy shop. What's up with that? Hiki chan took a look back there. Following Satoko's prompting, I took a look. There were chairs lined up at tables, almost like some sort of birthday party. I realized it immediately. It couldn't be. This is a venue for taste club activities. Surprise, Ki Chen. I'm good friends with the owner here. He sometimes let me hold the game tournaments to expand his customer base. Expand his customer base, I see. I mean, all the boys living at the place were participants. That's right. Normally it's just five, but today we're going to put lots and lots of people. I mean, I was insanely happy about being able to play with so many people, but my expression grew noticeably stern. Kichi san, I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh. Well then, why don't you try saying it? Together, okay? One, two. These are our all enemies. So the ghost voice of mine went together in harmony. We looked over at the participants. After all, the top prize was 50,000 yen. Uh, let's just take an actual toy shop. Yeah, because I can, um... If I, I believe... Yeah, I'm looking at this real toy shop that I just pixelated. Um, I see One Piece, I see, um, I think that's Dragon Ball Z down there, um, I see some Yu-Gi-Oh at the bottom, um, I think that's Pokemon at the, over there, um, Gundam, so, huh, cool. I said Black Flame, hey, Kichan, it looks like today will be fun, well, no matter how many more rebels I have, the goal is still the same. Rivals, Sai Kichan, do you think a whale keeps track of all the krill it eats? She said that in a pleasant voice, laughing with aggressive glint in her eyes, resolved solely for club activities. Damn it, Mian. She's as serious as she can get today. I'm not the only one who's serious. Take a look at the Rika, the Rika Chan, Mian pointed, looking at where her fingers directed me. What the heck is that? Rika Chen was just almost kind of the trace so soft enough to agree with it, almost an excessive pleasantness. I'm almost, I'm going, I was, blah, 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 I'm also going to do my best. Go for it, yay, go for it, yay. Completely emasculated, the group joined Rika Chen in a cheer. Then instead of a story being consumed by the world of Rika Chen, damn, she's already chopping up the bite. It seems like today's going to be fun. I'm going to do my best. Oh, it seemed like Rina was also unusually fired up by the large crowd. Hopping about and running around, she had entered entirely into cute mode. In Rina's case, the real fun starts when her attention gauge builds up. Her happy go lucky attitude bleed the fact that this was a state in which she was the most threatening. Mia always making small talk with some of the regular customers she was acquainted with. It was like business as usual with her. Of course, if anybody thought that Mian looked ordinary, they were not qualified to be in our club. The shadow beneath their feet was a shooting killer, and we were rising to like a chill wind. Damn it, Mian, throwing her honor, and he made it like that, she was serious. Keyshan, didn't she know? The 50,000 yen prizes from Mian sent own pockets. What? Okay, I need to pay more attention. I'm daydreaming again. 
Um, she was putting out the 50,000 yen all by herself. That moment, my dark eyes around that work, my surroundings began to appear. Hmm, what is a keychain? Is there something on my face? <laughs> Even she recruited my spine. That me on quoting herself like that. She was playing with the demon looking within her. Fine with me. Damn it, my knees are shaking like crazy. Before I realized that the story filled up with even more people. However, it looked in their eyes were in current friendship show. They were looking sort of expectation and curiosity. They were the eyes of onlookers who were wondering what kind of match was going to occur and who was going to win. He couldn't ask for a better stage than this. This is getting interesting. Kiki, Chikan, let, let, let's do our best, okay? Do our best. How? You know, it's always fully, already fully charged. Mortal laws of common sense held no power before their mother Vena in her Q mode. I definitely didn't want to fight her if possible. Rika Chen, do your best. We're all cheering you on. Okay, I'll do my best. Rika Chen was exhibiting way too much charm. No matter how you looked at it, it had already won over most of the onlookers to her side. Not sure how avoiding things had always been Rika Chen's creed. But for her to be blatantly laying out her machine machinations like this, something was definitely strange. Like Rena, she is somebody who I didn't want to fight if I could help it. Of course, the one you don't want to fight is most is Mion, son. I've been lucky to leave a lot more than a few times with never club activities, but I don't think there was a day that even came close to the, being this dangerous. Mion seems to be have developed quite a grudge after losing that poker match a few days back, you know. It seems like that seems that way. In other words, today is just an elaborate stage for her revenge. Almost as though she were a psychic, Mian turned towards us. Her eyes slightly con. Eh, at least they get the same. Huh. Still don't understand why she has a gun with her. Her eyes silently conveyed the message. You guys just figured that out now? It wasn't just that Mian, both Rina and Rika Chen were more pumped up than they'd ever been. Yeah, a one's gonna pop up today. Without a doubt, there'll be casualties. It seems that somehow Kichi son and I are the only ones left. What do you think? Should we not have our match during the opening round? Might as well. I need to warm up before I can really kick into gear. My spinal column shuddered like it had been struck by a jolt of lightning, or a bolt of lightning, like a pillar of ice was being gentled to it, being again to froze, or freeze, whatever. I could almost see the flames back there and Satoko with their intensity. Even then, while Satoko was just putting her almost small, it was cold and inhuman, almost as if it were a plastic mask. He, he must really want to eliminate me in the opening round. He can't hide that murderous intent. I'm going to go ahead and quick save just in case. Hey, he must be really... Oh, that's too bad. You're being uncharacteristically cautious to Kichi chan sound. Oh, without a doubt, so it was a trap. I don't know what she had up her sleeve, but if I fought Satoko during the opening round, my loss would be more certain if I went against Mion. A pitch black mess of my permanent the inside of the store. Do they all want to win that 50,000 yen prize so much? No, that's not right. The only ones who competing for the prize money were the casual participants. I was different. I must have taken this as a way to fool around on a normal Sunday. Didn't matter when it was, or where it was, or who our opponents were. In our club, the goal was always the very top of the mountain. An intense flame that was strong wind could extinguish, hot enough to melt any steel, began to burn inside me. The fuse had been lit on this unpretentiously intense club battle. It was in the owner of the store told me out in a lackadaisical voice that it was about time to begin. Is everybody ready? Listen close now. Mion began with their formalities, standing in for their owner and explaining the rules of today's tournament. You're on only playing to win. There is no second or third place. That's the same rules as our club. There are only, or about fifteen. Uh, there were fifteen people participating. We were to split up into five groups via a draw, and each group would have one winner. Each winner in the first stage would advance to the next in order to compete in the final. Now, as if for the each group will compete, each table can decide to play whatever they want. As long as the game is here in the shop, anything goes. Already in club mode, Fcon 1, I didn't let the small gap in the rules go unnoticed. 
Mjolnir and I ask a question, I want everybody to push to play a game they're good at and not able to agree on which one. Ha, that's right. If we can decide, we can't start. The spectators also nodded it along. It was only natural. There wasn't anybody here who would simply see to their opponent's suggestion. I prefer if you are all good sports and manage to come to a decision on your own, but if it comes to a stalemate, should we have the store owners decide for you? It was an event at the store after, horse store after all. You'd expect the owner to referee. After that, Mion's rundown continued. It ended the rule that any loser participants would have to buy the game they lost at. Wait, if that man ran down continue, it ended with the rule that any loser participants would have to buy the game they lost at for the nice proposition for the store. First, we used a draw to split into five groups. Everybody lined up a single file and began to draw tickets to the shop owner had prepared. It was my turn. All right, time to draw. No matter who I was up against, I'd crush them. At that moment, Beyond began to laugh with a hawkish gleam in her eye. Of course, I'm sure you already know, but the club members will have a separate penalty game than the casual participants. Yeah, I thought as much. What's the gist of it? The winner gets to give the losers one order each. Then trade how simple it sounded. It was a terrifying eventuality that's a gift which no one could predict. Damn you, Mian. Was she really planning on parading me around in a Misawa and cat ears on a banana hammock with a teletest or something? The look on Mian's face told me she wasn't going to let me off that easy. On top of that, this time, it wasn't just, just one person. Or there was just a person who finished last who had to submit the penalty game. The loser gets one order each. In other words, even if you don't play, even if you don't finish last, you still have to do a penalty game. That be the case with a Baptist no winner. Like if all the Clemens drop out had midway through. Ah, uh, are you all right in the head? What? Look at me on eyes. I that with lion bearing his fangs. How exactly the elite members of our club going to lose to some newly newborns? Keep trying to embarrass me by getting eliminated in the first round. You must fight and feel threatened. The more into it my opponent was, the stronger I would become. Just fight and see. I want you to sit here and be bullied by you, me, and I'll show you. We shall meet in the finals. The result of the draw were enough to make you cry conspiracy. All the members of the club were nicely divided up amongst the five tables. How did this happen when the draw was that random? The thought that was already caught me on but it strings made me feel uneasy. This was fine though. I'll crush all your pr petty tricks. Now where are my opponents? Everybody was headed to the table corresponding to the number on their ticket. The competition at my table was these two, huh? They look younger than me, huh? Aren't you two classmates of mine? Oh, hi, I'm Tomita. This is Okamura. Okamura could be me by nodding his head. So my opponent always gets my juniors from school. Just saying, but it seemed like a pretty easy matchup. Lucky. Then I destroyed them without mercy. Alright, then everybody, please decide on your games and start. With me on the declaration, the inside of the store selling became lively. Everybody was selling their favorite games to each other, trying to gain an advantage before they started. Even my two classmates who seemed to take a turn at the first glance began to fiercely insist on their own games as soon as the signal was given. Of course, I would kick those suggestions aside. There was absolutely no reason to pick a game on your point I was good at. Sorry, they're all games I don't know. Could you pick something a little more well-known? Of course, I didn't agree to the games I suggested either. I could only smirk bitterly. Naturally, at the five minutes this table still couldn't agree on a game. I played in the rules, we had to store owner to decide on the game. Clearing his throat, the shop owner brought over a board game from ba the back of the store. It was a game called Billionaire. Quite the vintage we have here. Come to think of it, if you lose, you have to buy this game. That damn old shoulder was using his competition to get rid of all the games he couldn't sell. I know this one. You guys do too, right? Spin the wheel and head to the go. Whoever has the most money after we liquidate our assets is the winner. The two not in agreement finally the game was underway. At the time, I already had a feeling of impending crisis. I wouldn't realize why the game until the, why the, until the game progressed a bit. One, two, three, four. So look at the birth of your child. Receive 5,000 from everybody. Sorry. Okay, I built a bit of a lead. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bonus. Receive 100,000 from the bank. What? The tables will turn in an instant. One, two, three. Proceed to the corporate ladder course. Well, that's a good route. It seemed like the only piece was landing on a steady basis. basis. I had no doubts as to why Mion didn't bring out board games for club activities, but that reason was slave bare for my 
to me before my eyes. That's right. I only realized it now. This game was completely based on luck. What could I possibly do to make sure I end up in first place at the end? The ultimate outcome of this game was decided in a place beyond human hands. How were the other club members doing? My eyes naturally wandered off to the tables. I mean, I say, well, what was that? They weren't doing anything. Are they still not sign on a game? This naive idea exists to distract me from the most frightening possibility. I Man, I was lounging about leisure and holding it some, some juicy butt from the vending machine outside on one hand. When our eyes met, she gave me a look of ease. It couldn't be sure I finished. What game was it? That easily? I was probably too late to be concerned with this at this point. Only five minutes since we started, and her two points were already beyond recourse. They were sitting there slumped over in disappointment. Muttering to them, so trying to figure out where they went wrong for that, they'd find no answer. Were there any reason for their defeat other than they sat at the same table as me on? Then what about Rena's table? Oh, well, people stop messaging me on Facebook. Like, seriously. Okay, there. I don't mean to say the spectators were causing quite a commotion. The like the game was Karuda. At the trouble was apparently the one reading out their cards. We had this tentative to dwaddle along. This place out a lot. When she had our time with this game, and I, then I'll read it out. The dog is tired on a walk. Bam. At the same time, it's trouble and began to send out the words. The car in question disappeared off the face of the table. No, the face of earth. Impossible. Where did it go? It was against Rena's cheek. She was rubbing it there. Huh? So cute. I'm taking it home. Looking at the car, Rena was against her cheek. It was an anime themed version of Crudo with rather cute mo illustrations decorating the cards. Basically, it was a picture of a pretty dog girl with a slightly large chest, panting and half in tears. As she's being pulled along on our chain. With those types of pictures, even I could play with godlike speed. If all people to play that game it had to be Rena, it was entirely possible without her fingertips on the verge of breaking the sound barrier. It was it's over. Mian smiled coolly, seeing no further reason to keep watching, she turned back. So cute, so cute. Even if Rena went to still buy these cards. I'm taking them home, how? After that, it's like a, the car started being right out. Bam, bam, such a device sound. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Finish that, whatever. Well, then, how about Satoko? Oh, she was playing a rather orthodox game. Concentration. Just from the distress, look at Satoko's face as seen as she was struggling somehow. Once of the, one of the main characteristics of concentration is the pace of the game the speed step as it goes on. As the numbers of the cars to memorize decreases, it comes easier to match several pairs in a row. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the first person to take over the flow of the match can run away as the winner. These cars still in play had decreased. If you memorize the cars that have been turned over before, you should have a good chance to sweep the table at this point. So it goes probably into the position of all the remaining cards. However, the turn came to a little too late. Her opponent followed up, the match would be decided. Oh, Joe, sorry, but I'm almost mean for the prize money. Don't hate me for this. This guy, did he have the locations of the remaining cards memorized? He was completely certain of his victory. The tension on his face relaxed. <laughs> it's over. I whispered that in a border manner as I turned my attention back to my own game. I spun the wheel. One, two, three, four, five. What? No way. The Ace of Hearts should be been here. There was a commotion at the table as a shout rang out. The, the two at my table turned around in surprise. I didn't. After all, there wasn't really anything to be surprised about. The onlookers were found, uh, confounded, most of them certain that the Ace of Hearts should have been there. There's no way I must be seeing things. It must have been because I was excited, so assured in his victory that the stress over his defeat ran deep. <laughs> That's how it is. If his opponent was a Stucco, then the Ace of Hearts certainly would have been there. What a fool. When you are a biggest Stucco, you can't let your guard down for a moment until the battle is over. Oh, Kichi said you still haven't finished your match. You have no sense for these things. When a refined tone of voice reserved for only when as Toko called out to me. For the casual observer, it looks it looked like she only eked out a victory. From my point of view, however, she was playing only playing around. So called uh, the winner and loser had already decided it was something more than child's play. The laugh part was about it being her opponent. Oh, she's laughing this but not in here. Why do they all look so fat and bulky in this? Or whatever. The laughable part about it where her opponent didn't know his role had already been assigned. 
Nice work there, saying I have a farce of a trap with Ace of Hearts. My opponent only walked into one of my traps. Even that one was more than enough. Stiko was a trapper. Her ter true talent was never being one misfire. Saying off only one trap was more than enough. That ain't cool. The fact that the owner of club, other club members were winning one after another with their own brand of play only added to my patience at my la own lack of progress. Alright, how else we could try to do it? How is our club's sly little fucks doing? What the heck is that? Over in the corner, the mood of the table was decided differently from the others. The game at Mikus Jones' table was, you know that battery-powered fishing game? The one where the fish open and close their mouths as they rotate on the platform and use a magnetic fishing rod to pick them up. That old thing? It seemed they planned on competing by seeing who could catch the most fish, but it became an atmosphere you could hardly call competitive. Wow, I caught one. You're so good because you're not good at this. Oh my, she caught another one. We could change really look good at this. I knew that because you already charmed her opponents along with them lookers before the matches had even begun, but friendly play. That corner had become an informal meeting out that we got through the fan club. As we could chance total victory. The total victory. We could chance get a fishing isn't she? What we could chance trolling for probably isn't fishing. Harry and I she glanced over my way briefly. This is my way of getting serious. That's what I heard. This is power masterful power technique that only Rika is allowed, only Rika can do. Yeah, a master masterful technique. Mally Bear is on your turn. Oh, sorry, guess it is. One, two, find for tax evasion. Hey, $50,000. In contrast, my game, what an unseemly situation this was. Noticing the uneasiness creeping across my face, my companions came to see how I was doing. Uh, Kichikan, could it be you're struggling? You're struggling? Akumara. Right now, how much money do you have? Akumara, who had wrong lots of money out of the elite course, began to account to a stack of white $100,000 bills. Uh, about 980000 I guess. How much money do you have, Tomita? I have 880000 I'm so close to enough to turn this around. Those two look like they would easily surpass a million dollars. Well, Kichi, how much do you have? I mean, I saw my voice was grim from the get-go. I was just disappointed and disgusted as club president. It can't be helped. There's no strategy involved other than spinning the world in this game. How am I supposed to cheat? So those two closed their eyes and count to a hundred while I rig their wheel? You know, there's no way I can do that. We could change it like pat in my head. She still wasn't too happy. How pathetic. At one point, I thought you'd be a worthy anniversary. I've been utterly disillusioned. Don't give up, Kichi Khan. There has to be some way to make a comeback. Do your best. Be it till the end. Like I said, how am I supposed to make a comeback with this game and line entirely on luck? Right, Mian? Mian's face ever was almost unbelievably indifferent. Like she was watching some completely unexciting. She turned it back with a saying a word. <laughs> hey, me. It was pathetic for us to urge even myself. I'm disappointed. Everybody was serious about this, but Kichan was the only one who wasn't. Well, what do you mean by serious? Are you telling me to control the spinner through sheer force of will? How can I do that? If you were serious about it, then you would have settled this game 10 seconds from when you started. Mammy Chan, you don't have to get so angry. Wait. I'm not in a bad mood, cast me aside and disappear into the depths of the shop. Maybe it was because it had become an awkward situation, but the spectators dispersed from around my table. Damn, I understand I'm not serious about this. I was saying if I was serious, I would have sold this game in just 10 seconds. If I was serious, if I was serious, everybody was praying for my victory. I they believed in me. I betrayed their expectations. It was just because I wasn't serious. Or so, Pashama, should we continue the game? The two of them were timidly trying to resume the play. I didn't respond to that. The table took it to silence. My barracks gun, should I take it that you mean you're giving up? You know, I don't know if they can ask for free and you can start to announce the cancellation of the game at that moment. They must have me let loose a howl and awakened. Get it now, me on it with it means for me to be serious. I'll show you. Bam. I clapped my hands on their shoulders, speaking in a low voice, pulling them closer. Tell me to kind of come over, kind of let's make a deal. Let me win. Two of them not immediately understand what I just said, or I mean behind it, were momentarily confused. And there's no violence to settle this game properly. 
just as to what I have to say was that you guys want the 50,000 yen prize. Well, of course, wanting that kind of money is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, supposing you went, what are you going to do with that money? How are you going to enjoy it? The two of them considered it briefly. Buy a new game or something. Snacks. Maybe some juice. Hee <laughs> hee, that's petty. So petty. Are you guys stupid? Hee <laughs> hee. Then how will you enjoy it if you were my bear son? Me? That's the point. Just shut up and listen to what I have to say. We club members have penalty games separate from the casual participants. If we lose, we will be a single command from the winner. From another point of view, the winner earns the prize of being able to order the other club members around. First of all, Tomita Khan, you, like, you like Satoko, right? Don't deny it. Next, Okamura Khan, you like Rika, right? Don't turn red. I drew the two of them fa- red face of conscience of whether any- anybody else heard what I just said even closer. Lollies, Mo, pretty girls, what men covet, what men dream about. It's like an unreachable garden of Eden. Even then, you still aim for it, wouldn't you? That's because our passion is still scream for Mo. Has a sense of age where you couldn't say you liked the girl you liked. I'm concerned saying that gave me all the more power. Tell me the kind of if I went. I'll make took a wear a collar and be your little sister for a day. Everybody found speed from both of the guys' nostrils. <laughs> also, I'm a Kumura I'll put cat yours on Rika Chan and let you take her out for a walk on the leash. Blood erupt- erupted from the vein in Okumura Khan's forehead. <laughs> Don't be shy, just pretend for you to go along with me. You two are simply sacrifices to embarrass the Empire's whims. You can pretend to be against it. I understand I know it's in your heart's desire. Then I suddenly lower the tone of my voice. My school life was very bleak. I know what I. Very important body, how foolish it is to waste such an important time in your lives. So to you two, my juniors, I don't want you to live your lives like that. Be honest with yourselves. Chase your dreams. Fulfill them. I'll fulfill them for you. I will. It was this moment when the valley of men of British generations. My bear aside, I ever have to make this book. Every book my mind for me so strongly. Never. There was no way there was. That's because in my last lifetime, he'll only have the three faithful encounters. That valuable first time, that's being experienced right this moment with these two. It's fine, man. Let's do it. One, two, three. Game over. It was just a declaration of the games, and then everybody in the store turned and looked. It had been less than three minutes since I was on the verge of forfeiting all the to certain of my loss. Kiki, tell what happened. Who won? It was my complete victory. Well, what did you say? Exactly. How did you go from the situation? It was, it, was it was a gentleman's agreement. You right, guys? Yes, sir. The two of them stiffing it. It was their gratitude and surged strongly from the bottom of their hearts. It's like what kind of miracle occurred here during those three minutes, and the spectators all looked away from my utter disadvantage. You did it. You did it, Kichikanye. The spectators were puzzled how Hal was able to so quickly overcome the hopeless situation. That guy, is he able to control the spinner with his eyes or something? It's a miracle. What, deliver, what devilry is this? He's in the cahoots with that man, you know? There's no doubt he has some strange trick up his sleeve. I looked at the crowd who couldn't believe but how it be excited at the corner of my eye. Now fully awakened in battle mode, I let out a desire to laugh. La- so this is what it means to be, be serious. Me odd. Humph. You look took your sweet time. The bear and I are faint to each other. We left together in a most unsightly fashion. With this, all the club members. Oh, what? Oh, all club members have cleared the first round then. Which means this time it's a match against everybody. A match. I've already decided what I'm going to buy with the prize money. That's only natural, right? So they're going to in a small sneer to each other. Don't these guys, do they really think they can win against Kichi, my bear, when he gets serious? Mian, that was a mistake. You shouldn't have offered me advice just now. He with a really newborn you are. You're a million light years too early to think you can win against me. Mian, light years a measure of distance. Oh, she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. What are we doing, Mi Chan? How are the five of us going to face off? How? Well, now. He he he. How we have such a splendid lineup. It could be a waste to rush things. Me is saying something complicated again. 
It couldn't be why you. Mia's hair flowed elegantly, almost like a cape, as she turned her back to the table. I, I just now realized it. <coughs> Before I go on, this was like in the 1983, 1984, 85, something like that, in the early 80s, right? So why is there a One Piece and Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Gundam, and all that other... I know I was taking a, in a toy shop, blurred out so you can't really see it, but it's, it was pretty obvious. Some of these are... It's like, come on, it's, this is, this is, what is it, it's like 20 years in the future, whatever. I'm going to say fully elegantly, almost like a cape, as she turned her back to the table. As for today's contest, I clip President Mian Sunasaki will reserve judgment for now. The method and time are yet undecided. The more spectators, the better. It should be in front of everybody in Hidemisawa and Okinomiya. By then, we'll know the best way to follow these subtle things. Are you running away from this? This is too unfair even for you, Mian san. Hehe, <laughs> you newborn. Do you still not realize what has happened? The competitive aura billow billowing now and swinging us buddy from the barrier stops Sotoku's advance. We'll meet again. Prepare yourself for an inevitable of defeat. With a shrill laugh, Mian left the store. At the moment of silence, the crowd erupted into the cheers. The winner will leave in the contest. Mian serious, the other members did great too. That new guy, Mabera, he just got some strange power. He turned the tables in an instant. Mabera, son, you've got to win. Yeah, I'll dunk someone like me on headfirst into the river of sticks for you. The part of the crowd that had apparently overheard the covenant between Tomoe Taraka and Okamurika and myself went into a cheer again. Mian's going to win anyways. She's the undefeated written prince. I'm betting on Mian now it's going to be Reno out with that ungodly speed. So to go with the trap artist, we got the siren. And maybe a long shot as B. Maybera. However, right now I have no ear for these cheerful voices. Setting the stage for this huge match and then running away like that, I wasn't going to forgive Mian. I said to start me, I was getting on her back as the shop owner was seeing her off. Don't run away, Mion. If you're at the clip prison, don't run. Fight me. Oh, sorry, Ki Chen. Right now, I've got to get my part time job. Huh? Like you would see in a sketch comedy show, my legs slip in opposite directions and so I know in the splits. Yeah, while you were playing your game, me Chen received the phone call. It's too bad. It was just getting good too. Not our lucky day. They're getting crushed to sell over at my uncle's store. They don't have enough people that work the register, so he called me for help. When you say your uncle, does he manage a supermarket or something? It's just a small store, but you, know, you put stuff on special, all the housewives swarm like locusts. You know, they have any common sense? Even though they don't have enough stuff, they're selling a carton of eggs for 10 yen, limit one per customer. I was a little surprised. You would never think this was the club president screen such a dark or inside the store. Such a short time ago. It was unusual me on right now, almost expertly so. My shoulders slumped. That's right. Our club mode was over now. But it was really heated today. It really was fun. Damn me she really knew was knows how to build people up. I me mean, too. I got so fired up my head started to tingle. Especially Keychan. That was scary. I thought he was gonna eat me alive there. It works, so I guess there's nothing you can do, but it really is too bad. I really want to continue this some other time. Any good time is good. How about we do it at the Tanagashi Festival? Oh, the Cotton Drifty Fight Demon Firefight. That's right, I'll think about it. Right now, that would be a good chance we're talking about. Or Tanagashi Festival? Cotton Drifting Five Demon? What? Ah, ha, 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 ha. I love it when things turn out over the top and manga like. It'd be nice if we could have uh, another thrilling club activity like this soon. She left with a smile that made you feel refreshed just looking at it. At that moment, the shop owner came out carrying a paper bag. I wonder what it is. Is he giving it to us? Thank you, everybody, for today. Thanks to you, the event re went really well. It's not much, but here's a little something for you guys. Hey, Uncle Shishiro, is it there a little something for me, too? My, 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 quite a group of one, is it not? Once we go, we can open up the bag. There was a cute little something was inside. Wow, they're so cute. Can I take them home? I really, I really can. Which means it's stuff for me too. Oh, uh, I got a pretty adorable one. It was a stuffed toy wearing a beautiful dress when he used to play house. Then as I were glued to my to my stuffed doll. 
So it's like, oh, it's the same, man. Rico Chan 2. Uh -huh. Aha, <laughs> Keychan got the one that fits him in the least. How do I say this? I could say it's pretty or cute. Well, I guess it's cute and pretty or cute. I mean, it's adorable, but a doll to change what clothes is. Uh, if he walked around with it, any dip would be treated like a weirdo starting tomorrow, definitely. Beyond didn't have to go that far. This was to something like a guy like me should be carrying around. Me, I was the only one who could even see the present, so I thought about giving it to her. However, I have to briefly consider and I give it to Rena instead. Huh? You're giving it to me? To Rena? Thank you. Just protect myself if I didn't give it to Rena. Then walking in the streets at night would be scary. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. I thought about giving it to Mian, but it just didn't feel right. Hey, hey, you know, it, I sometimes wonder why I was born a boy. It's better that you're a girl. If you were a boy, I would have killed you already. <laughs> you should kill me while you still can. If you don't get you might not live to regret it. <laughs> yeah, I laughed after such an ominous line. Everybody left heartily, heartily along with her. Uh, ask God to make sure you're a boy in your next life. I'll have him make me a boy. Then together, two of us will start taking over the country as a warm up. <laughs> Let me try if you don't get going soon, the shop owner told her meekly. All of us looked like we were having a lot of fun, so it might have been hard to put a wet blanket on things. Later then, today was really fun. I'll see you later, guys. Tomorrow at school. Don't be late for work. Everybody waved their hands and watched as me on left. Before I knew it, the sun was already setting. The breeze carried a hint of chill. Should we play for a bit more in town, or should we go home? The more the roads get scary when it's dark. Then I guess it's time to leave. We certainly caused a ruckus today. We sure did. Okay, let's go home. The wind blew gently, as if to cool down those of us flushed with enthusiasm. The road back to Hina myself was long, but I didn't really mind. Oh, that's right. Rena said you cheated in overwhelming victory, didn't you? When Rena gets like that, I'm sort of safe, but there's no winning against her. Ah ha 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 That's because the cars were so cute. See? I bought them hell. Rico is the same as usual when it comes to boys. It's like taking candy from a baby. It was an easy win. How much was calculated, how much was natural. I can get scared when I think about Rico will turn out in the future. Ha ha ha, Sucko Chan was amazing too. The way it ended, it was really exciting. It wasn't the sort of game where I should be complimented. Oh ho ho. Kichi, you also showed your fingers at the end there. Mm, well, I guess I'm the type of guy who's strongest when he's cornered. Tell me this, and others seem to be carrying you on really hard. What was that about? He made some sort of promise to me to tell Okumura. It's probably a secret. A secret, a secret. Oh, I wonder what it is, I wonder. Uh, so that's what a man there is. Sometimes we can only understand one another by fighting. Well, ha ha, this be left and I've been deeply avoided of what the subject. After that, probably everybody continued to praise each other for how they defeated their opponents and reflected on how fun today was. Everybody look, the sunset's beautiful. So the girl gave the animal even more excited, pointed, waiting where her finger indicated it was an immense sunset, casting even longer than shadows of us on our bikes. The cries of the Higurashi were gentle and very comforting. Uh, is it the end of the first chapter or or what? Okay. Well guys, I am in the video here and I'll see you guys later.